Hello, it's the Death Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Glory Squad. So, I'm still in Cave 25 from the last episode, and if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out so that this episode makes more sense. Okay. What is your deal? Let me guess, these are the painting blocks. No, they are not. Okay. They do move more than once, though. So, this is actually very easy. <laughs> This does not pale in comparison to the other one I had to do in the last episode, which you should go check out. Okay. There's... Oh... Okay, this is a bit more than I thought it was. Okay, so... Oh, okay. I, I do see what I need to do now. It plans don't really change too much, but it does, like, the only thing that changes is that I need to push that one there. I think I messed it up. Because now, yeah, I did mess it up. Shoot, okay, this one's actually a little bit more, a little bit difficult. So, I can start off by doing that, but then they're blocked. Oh, oh, ooh, I can do it this way, though. And then push this in here. And then I can just push this one all the way down. And then do it this way. That one, I feel like there's a whole lot of ways you can do it. One shot of them. Nice. See, just as I thought, the, the barricades over there didn't actually get undone. I thought maybe they they did, but nope. But I got a shortcut, so now it doesn't matter. Holy crap! Of course, when they all clump up, I just gotta attack once and make sure I hit them all. Harpies. Yeah, that. I would say that was definitely worth a heart piece, but that actually wasn't that bad. Wasn't there something up here somewhere that I couldn't get? Maybe not. Okay. So all that for a heart piece. Not complaining, but... Eh. Wasn't very hard. It just took time to get through. Oh, God. I fully forgot that was a situation. Oh, I can go out this way. I almost didn't see where I can... How, how to get out. They can hit me, they don't do a lot of damage, but that other guy did do a lot of damage. Back to Christmas. Okay, um... There's two rooms on the far right. So... Hmm... I guess I just go up that way then, huh? That appears to... Ooh, there's money over here, that's right, I can't forget that. Yeah, for those of you who missed the last episode, this is actually a Christmas song. And there's a 100... I think that's a 100. That's a 50, right? Yeah, that's a 50. you think by now I'd memorize what each money... Like, each rupee is. Like, each rupee value. This game I just went in. I forgot what this was again. Ah, okay. Back at the beginning. Okay. Alright, so I've seen all I could there. Oh boy. Yeah, that's the cave I need to go through. Block shenanigans. Oh, the cave. That was a dead end. Oh, there was a way I can go this way. Oh, that's how I get here. Psh. Yeah, that just tells me that this is Ritu. Ritu, or whatever it was. Ritual. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't know now. That's the sign that says Ritual. What did this sign say? Oh, psh. 
You really? You needed both of those signs? Alright. Retool Village, and there's a Moogle thing. I wonder if this has the same thing as back before. Oh, yeah, okay. So the Moogle house in the Dwarven City also, for some reason, you can walk on this. <laughs> Welcome to Retool, the town of mages and wizards. Awesome. Another Moogle house. My, you're looking good today, friend Koopo. Ooh, okay. Okay, cool. Very flirtatious Moogles. Enemies giving you a hard time? Just use a boomerang. Man named Shire has left and moved into Hyrule Castle. Moved. His flames are scattered throughout Hyrule. Maybe if you talk to him, he might put out the flames. There's a guy in Hyrule Castle, huh? Why, you're looking good to see. Okay. More flirtatious Moogles. Oh, he looks like... Okay, yeah, that's the, uh... So there's gonna be a reason why... Like, why is the game giving me the option to take off the Moogle costume? Master used to live up here with us. His name is Pishire. Or... He had a change of heart and went... Change of heart for the worse and left us. What a pity. Is he gonna be like a boss? I bet he's gonna be like a mini-boss or something. Really, you gave me the option to take off my costume for this? Granted, it's annoying, but enough to have me take off the thing. Oh, whoa, wait, I'm not in here yet. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'm not complaining. Hello, fellow Moogle Koopal. Oh, wait, well, I was looking at the torches and how they're askew. They're not symmetrical. Well, that was fairly easy. Do I have one out of four? Oh, I have two out of four. Okay. Well, wait, let's see. Two more dungeons. So, there, I'm thinking there's only two more heart pieces left in the game. Unless, of course, there's a third row of hearts. In which case... Yeah. A so-called wizard named Kel used to be around his, this house. He left his diary up here. I wonder if he came back. Now, we're looking for someone who owns a bikini. Don't know if any mages would have it, but then again, that would make weird sense, so that could work. Nothing can stop us mages, not even the cold, as you see. We are living in a cold town. Oh, good to know. For once, it's not Gorons that aren't cursed with ice or snow. Oh, how I dream of, obta of obtaining holy potion. Us, mage us mages must study a lot from books in order to become one. In order for us to wait, what? That didn't sound right. Study a lot from books in order to become one. What? You guys wait. So do mages turn into books? Okay. Oh, what the heck are you? Bomb bag. Big bomb bag. Is that hundred bombs? Oh, <laughs> hundred bombs. Like I ever will need that many bombs, but I'll grab it anyway. You know, 100% and all that. Oh, okay, it's the all-purpose shop here. Boomerang, shuriken, and potion. Am I s I'm still above 3,000. <laughs> Ever wondered why this place is, is called Mount Hino? Called Mount Hino when it's so far away from Hino Village? Well, Death Mountain used to be a part of Mount Hino, but it soon got on fire. It soon got on fire and everything died. That's why we gave it a deadly name like Death Mountain. It's real lore, you know. Huh. Well, I mean... I think it is mentioned in Ocarina of Time or something that the volcano erupted. So, that would suggest burning. No major wizards have ever been close to getting the Holy Potion. So, this double magic is a big deal. The most powerful warlock guards the Holy Potion. And there's Phone Guy. Rick speaking, have you heard about the Hinox? These one-eyed giants that charge at you and throw shurikens? I heard they are weak to arrows. Well, it's, it would have been nice to know that a little sooner, but okay. Crap. Though so I feel like I should have known that. Like, before now. Okay, well this is a thing. Is everything in here? 
Whoa. Oh, heh. <laughs> it's a trigger. So you actually made it here. I knew you could do it. Me, I was waiting for you too while talking with my friend here. Ah, I see. So are we going to get the holy potion? Of course we are going to get that. Of course, we are also going to get the clock of courage for you two. No mage has ever... No mage has ever managed to get through the Warlock's Tower. Okay, it's managed with a D. But maybe you guys, a swordsman, could. Who knows? All I want is to get that holy potion. I promise to my wife... I promise to my wife at Superosha that I'll never return here until I get that holy potion. Please help me get my friends. I'll be waiting at Mount Hino Hino Hin Peak. Yeah. Come on, Link. We got a wizard that will help us... Get the clock of courage. Let's n let's not let that opportunity go to waste. Hold on. So yeah, that is definitely the guy from uh, whose wife is in Death Mountain. But does that mean I can do the thing with her now, or does he need to return in order for that to be the case? I don't know. I would like to find out though. I also don't know who wants the bikini. Thought it would have been someone in the hotel. I also don't know if it's someone I've seen already. It might not be. Yeah, it's this pretty little thing over here with the little bow in her hair. Owl. Unless it's one of these people. I never did grab that that potion, apparently. Thought I did. Can't get over the fact that this is a Christmas song. <laughs> and it works so well, too. Although the fact that I know what the original song is, it kind of makes it sound weird. Like, it doesn't truly fit, but... Without knowing that, it, it definitely sounds good. Uh, hmm. This was the house I went in, yeah. There we go. Brave fellow, but I know you are also, Koopo. You just shot me in the face with an arrow. You know, Peek. Hey, Kel, what are you doing here? Let's head to the Warlock's Tower. I can almost sense the clock near. Uh, near. Yeah, but I just saw a large airship near me. It looked like it was heading towards our way. Oh, look, it isn't... It is the airship. If you could... If you look very closely, you could even see its operator. It looks like the operator is a young man with purple hair. He seems to be shouting to us. Young man with purple hair. Oh, knock, knock, knock. Remember me, little boy and fairy? After Takagan's death, I became the new leader of the Glory Squad. Oh, you know what that means, right? I'm now the new king of Hyrule. Not only that, but I, but I have also assembled a new army and constructed my very own airship. You can't get past this. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I want to keep that title for a long time, unlike our former master, Takagan. And in order to do that, I must kill you. Bullet Bill. <laughs> it's Iroh. How did he survive that explosion back at the, back in the base? You know that guy in the airship? Yeah, but now, but now is not the time to ask questions. We should probably run before it's too late. That was awfully easy. I couldn't save first. That sucks. What a pity. The heroes of Hyrule are no match for my airship. Now it is time for me to rightfully gather the trophy for defeating them. The trophy being their cold little corpses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, great. Hey, Link, listen. Are you still alive? I have yet to see Kel around, around here. It seems like you and I got locked up here in what looks like... What looks like to be Iroh's airship. Let's try to find a way out of here and find Cal. Convenient for him to leave a health spot in that safe spot. <laughs> okay, um... It's a very small area. My, my sword beams go behind them. That's weird. Guys with huge swords again. Come on. What's your deal? Money. 50 rupees. 
absolutely hate the guys with the swords. Ugh. Get off the potion. Alright, what's over here? It's a boss. Oh, I'm so glad that you two are safe. I think I found a way out of the airship, but the entr entrance to the... Okay, I need to know. Is it spelled entrance? Let me see here. I'm not cutting this out. Entrance. Really? No, it's entrance. That's what I thought. God dang Figure like you could fit into this small hole. No problem, I can fit through that. Link, give me your items again. I need all of your equipment. All the equipment I can, except for your sword, of course, because it's too heavy. Alright, guys, I'll find next it. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a boss. There is gonna be a boss here, because that's a reflector right there. Okay, well. Weapon. Backup weapon. I really do love the, uh. Aurelia sequences. Very cool. I screwed myself over. Wow. This is an entire Aurelia dungeon. Ooh! Getting spicy with the dodging skills. Oh well, um. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Figures, the one time I'm actually good at dodging, I actually screw myself over. That really figures. Yoink. I said yoink. Why didn't you shoot before? The inconsistency of it all. Oh, well, alright. You know I'm not doing this the legit way. <laughs> Just because I know I can do it, and the other way of doing it is actually very easy. So, I mean, why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't I do it like that? It's it's much quicker. Shoot. Can't forget that I don't have my sword. I'm sorry, I don't have Link's sword. Okay, well, that way it was a whole dead end. Was it, though? No. Well, I need to hit that switch in order to get down there. <sighs> Boring. Shoot. God dang it. Wow. Just walk into everything. There we go. Alright, so I can't do that yet. Thanks for the arrows. So wait, what exactly does this... Okay, I see. Hookshot? The fabled hookshot. You are now no threat. And you're stuck! <laughs> okay, that was kinda nice that you got completely stuck. Like, immobile stuck. So, I'm not gonna complain about that. There we go. I feel like I would have been able to just push my way up, but I guess not. There's also something very. There's something oddly pleasing about Aurelia's walking. Uh, walk, walk animation. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Watch yourself. did actually see what this is. 
Boy, this is expensive. I don't know who's talking to me, but... I will utilize your... Oh, the health and magic spots must be talking to me. Yeah, I do have a potion. Okay. 100 bombs. I'm never gonna use those bombs. Come on, boots. See ya. Oops, I gotta go around this way. Um... Alright, I guess the Beemos despawn, because why not? Uh, I hit A. What is you talking about? I love how well that works. <laughs> I mean, all you're really supposed to do is just push the blocks so that you'll be able to get out, but why, why go through all that work? Oops, I keep forgetting I don't have the sword. I should really be a little bit more conservative. Eh, screw it. There's only two of them. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I, they wouldn't really be a threat. That was dumb. <laughs> Alright, well this won't be that bad. Really helps that I got the upgraded stuff. Um... Well, did that the bad way. Come on. Really catchy music. Yeah, I'm dangerously low on arrows. sucks because that's my best weapon holy crap look at the time all right i gotta end this episode here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you did you know what to do see you guys in the next episode goodbye wow more aurelia this is awesome